Hey there, board gamers. Justin on Painter here, and I got something big to show you guys today. I'd like to welcome you guys back to the channel. We're going to try and do a little zoom out here. This is a very large box. Uh, let's see, it's about as good as I think we're going to get right there. A uh, big old box that has some goodies in it from um, last week's currency con. So we're going to open this up. This will be a short video, um, hopefully, but I'm going to show you guys what uh, Robert, Bobby, from Fortress Miniatures and Games, and I got from um, Kerensky Con. Now, his is to keep, mine is to paint. Um, I had a conversation with their uh, line art director, uh, Brent Evans, about painting some mechs for him. Um, uh, I don't have the mechs out to show you for that project. That'll be something later that, if I'm allowed to talk about, I will. Um, but this, I can show you. Um, and I was pretty excited about having an opportunity to paint for Catalyst, um, or paint something for a Catalyst employee. Um, I have not submitted anything to Camo Specs yet, um, but based on the interest from some of the guys there, I feel like it's probably worth uh, me taking a stab. So, I've got some goodies in here to show you. I'm gonna pull out some parts. You guys came here to listen to the bubble wrap, yeah? So, do -do -do, some parts. And then we got some more parts. And then a big one. Boom. Okay, I think the rest of that is packaging. Let's get this box out of here. All right, so this one, I'll show you guys second. These are Bobby's. I'm gonna show you these. I'll bag this stuff up for him. Um, but this is uh, parts for a unit that he got from the 28 mil scale um, Destiny demo that we did at uh, Kerensky Con. Now, um, the demo um, was basically just classic Battletech, but with bigger models. Um, so I'm going to show you guys uh, tape uh, the Marauders parts. It's not together. Um, I'm sure the bubble wrap is sounding just fantastic right now, right? Uh, I think this is probably just throw stuff on the floor. The torso. There we go. All right, so box down. Um, so this is the torso part. Okay. We've got the hip assembly. So now I can probably zoom this in a little bit. All right, here we go. So Bobby did a good job taping his up. So we got some gun arms here. And we've got the two legs. Okay. And I believe this is the last pouch. So let's see what we got. Okay, so we've got um, the top of the leg, so like that, and this will mount into the hip. This, I don't know which side's the front, I'm just going to guess. So I'll line into the hip, so you can pose it the way you want. You could probably do magnets or um, probably pin it, probably be a good idea. We've got the other leg, so same thing, now, do, 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 do. so two legs. We've got the feet. So, it's that. Yep. Actually, huh, it's weird. Oh, I see, I see, it's got a notch. So, that will go on that, unless you want to like rock it back, but foot. Okay. Now, this will not be fully together because um, this is Bobby's model and he got one that was unassembled. So we've got the other foot. So we've got two feet here. Um, we've got the arm sockets, or arms rather. Those, and then the gun. And all right. So in terms of everything he's got here, um, let me just slide my tray down. There we go. Um, so we've got the torso. Mounts right on there. 
then you would have your legs and yeah, I'm sure you would um, probably lean them kind of forward a little bit, you know, so he's aiming down, put your feet. Um, so assembly wise on that's gonna be uh, some effort. Um, you got the arm here and let me hold that on with a little tension. And then the gun pops into a little socket there. So pew, 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 pew. Try and there we go. So I can hold it forward so you guys get more front on view. That'll be mounted on like that. Boom. And then we've got the top cannon. Which it's got a little recess here. Um, no pegs. I mean that does sit in, right? But there's still a recess down there, so probably for magnetizing. This is a hunk of resin, it's a hunk of resin. This is not hollow, big old, big old chunk. Um, and this was the Marauder for their um, uh, 28 mil um, style game they played. I thought it was going to be, I feel like they called it like Destiny scale, um, but it wasn't Destiny. I thought we were gonna be playing the role play game with these big ones. I was wrong, they were playing classic. So um, I just kept playing the grinder while they were doing that there. Um, the model that I have with me, I won't get to keep the model, but the model that I have is uh, right here, and let's pop this open. This one was already built, which is why we had to ship these back. Um, I didn't have room in my, oh, we've got a damage here. Yep, I can feel that already. Um, I had to ship it back because it couldn't fit in my carry-on pack or bags. Um, so we had one foot or leg break on this already. I can tell because it's wiggling. I did the best I could to package that up as well. And I just guess I failed. I uh, hope the break is not terrible. Um, okay, it looks like it was at the knee. All right. Uh, could have been worse, could have been better, so it snapped. This is the problem with resin, um, it can shear. Um, and this was 3D printed resin, not cast resin. Cast resin is uh, less likely to do that. Um, but I, I bet this was 3D printed. Um, well, no, no, this, this might have been, this might have been, um, this might have been cast. Maybe they're using a different resin than what I use at work, because I don't think our resin looks like this. Um, but yeah, regardless, um, it is resin. Um, I'm not seeing a lot of like support dimples, which is why I think this might have been, um, um, what you call it? Uh, not cast, what am I, what am I talking about? Yeah, yeah, cast, sorry, not 3D printed, derp. Um, but yeah, I don't recall ours ever having the shear problem um, cause that fractured pretty, pretty rough. I'd probably be able to repair that. Um, I don't think it's going to be too bad. Um, I could definitely get it glued. I may have to use a little, um, putty or green stuff to, to get it repaired. Let's take a peek at how bad that was. Um, yeah, I think, I think you'll see a little maybe a little bit of a seam, but I think once it's glued, it's gonna be super negligible. Can't really see it too bad, so I'll pop some glue on that. Um, but uh, I was sent with a Timberwolf bought from Brent Evans to, uh, to paint up. Um, I gotta get some larger decals for it uh, so we can try and uh, paint it up. I think it's gonna be a um, Beta Galaxy Clan Wolf. Um, but yeah, and you can see this one was primed. Um, there's this one as the pure resin. But even then, the, um, the resin color is different, right? Um, versus this stuff that's not been primed. Um, so, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's just different mix, who knows? But uh, nonetheless, we've got a uh, Timberwolf here. Uh, as soon as I get done with this video, I'm going to go repair him. And there you go, yeah, pretty exciting. I'm pretty excited about painting up something for, um, again, for a uh, employee from Catalyst. I was talking to the guys there uh, about submitting my uh, miniatures to um, Camel Specs and then um, 
you know, working with them if there's any opportunities to do stuff. Um, so I volunteered to do this and we'll see, you know, get your foot in the door doing something, maybe it leads somewhere, maybe it doesn't, but I still get to do something cool for Battletech. So, uh, but that said, folks, uh, like I said at the beginning of this video, it was going to be a short one. Um, we've got the 28 mil Timberwolf and the Marauder here, and I'm sure Robert Ash will have uh, either this assembled or bagged or something for his museum, um, but that is his. This one is currently in my possession, but is not mine to own. Um, I just have to paint it up and send it off. So uh, with that being said, folks, thank you so much for tuning in today. If you have any thoughts, concerns, comments at all, sound off in the comment section below. Hit that like and subscribe button uh, and let me know what you got going on. But with that being said, it's time for me to get out of here, folks. As always, keep painting those models, keep rolling those dice, and I'll catch you guys next time.